Let's see. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. We're going to make crepes today, so I hope you are ready. We're going to wait a few minutes to uh, let everyone arrive. So we're just going to hang out here for a few minutes uh, while more people show up for class, for crepe class. Valerie Perkins, I'm her mom, Lindsay, and this is our weekly cook and bake along with the Mandel JCC. So hang tight and we will get started. Hi everybody. Hello. We're making crepes. This is exciting. Mm -hmm. Hope everyone's having a good day. I'm trying to fix this one hair that keeps sticking up. You can see it. Uh, it's gorgeous out. So this won't be this won't be a super long recipe because I really love for everyone to get outside as soon as this is over and enjoy this gorgeous mid 60s Hartford weather. Hey everybody. Hi everyone who's coming on. Do you wanna, as the YouTubers say, smash the like button. I'll know you're here and um, we can get, there you go. Thanks, hi. <laughs> so this is our third week doing baking and cooking with the JCC and uh, it's kind of taken off. So I'm excited and uh, we're just gonna wait a couple of minutes. We are very prompt today. We realized um, it's time to, to get cooking. There's one, oh, that's gonna be sticking up the whole time. Hi, hi Dorans, welcome. I see Michelle Bonner's watching. Hello. So I guess while we're, um, you know, just kind of waiting, I might recap if I've, I've learned a lot of things. Hi, Bonners. Um, Waxman's in the house, woo! Um, so if you haven't done this format before, or you have, I'll just kind of explain it again. We're going to make crepes together, and um, I'm going to answer your question. So there might be some times when I repeat things and you're already on that step and you're like, wait, I've got that. But somebody else might not be at that step yet. So we're just going to sort of, hi, Kendra, my sister's here. Oh, the Malkins are here. All my cooking friends. Valerie, say hi. Hi. Hello. Valerie has a Zoom at 1.45, so she is watching the time so she can be with her classmates at 1.45. Um, so crepes are so easy to make, but I think one of the most intimidating, uh, I guess, breakfast, brunchy, lunchy things, um, if you're not the most adventurous cook. Um, we just started making crepes kind of recently because Valerie had a cookbook, a kid's cookbook, and she said, Mom, there's this crepe recipe. Hello, Kim and Molly. Um, Valerie's going to wash her hands. So this is a great time to wash your hands and... Um, get your ingredients situated. But so going back to what the crepe actually is, it's really just flour, eggs, milk, water, and um, oh, melted butter. So if you haven't melted your butter yet, mine's actually in the middle of, in between um, melts, you can just get it going there so that it's nice. Um, that's um, that kind of the last step to put in the melted butter and that helps it, one, not stick to the pan. Also, depending on what, um, bonjour, Jillian. Um, if you have a nonstick pan, awesome. If you don't have a nonstick pan, equally awesome because they work in both. And so these are not like pancakes where you're gonna have this big, thick, you know, thing. It's actually just quite small. And um, how much better? Two tablespoons melted butter. Um, so let's do a little recipe check now that um, Sean asked that question, how much butter. So we're gonna do, we're not gonna start it yet, but you're gonna need one cup of flour. You're gonna, I've already pre-measured today because Valerie's gonna be my mixing girl. So I've got a half a cup of water, cold, um, and a half a cup of, uh, this is just whole milk, but you could use sort of whatever. Um, hi, I'm so glad you're excited. The mares are here. Oh, my cousin from Cali's here. Hey, Sherry. Woo. Welcome to my, my cooking party. Um, so that's really it. And then the last step, oh, it's melted. The last step is, well, actually, it might go a little more since so I'm gonna be talking. So the last step is melted butter. And then I have a little assortment of toppings because, um, well, I just kind of brought a few things out. Um, yep, my, it's, it's, 
Sherry, so what I'm, what I'm doing, the most basic topping, oh, did you see the, 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 the puff come off that? This is just cinnamon sugar. Uh, you can make a crepe and then just sprinkle cinnamon sugar on it as it's the round and then fold it up and it starts, it melts, it's like a cinnamon bun crepe. So that is the most cost effective, basic topping that hopefully if you have cinnamon or even like some nutmeg or some spicy spices um, in your cabinet, that's like the, you can make crepes all day long as long as you have flour and eggs um, and a little bit of cinnamon sugar and that would be like a super delicious thing. I also have some beautiful strawberries. If you guys are following me on Instagram, you know that I am a, a big supporter of shopping local and shopping small. And um, one of our Hartford food distributors, Sardilli, is having this great thing where they're selling boxes of produce so you don't have to go out to the store. Um, it's a safe way to get produce. So I've got these beautiful strawberries that I've washed and then we'll slice up. So that's another topping option. Also just a maple syrup if you just wanna eat it like a pancake maple syrup. And Valerie's favorite, I'll do it like this without getting it everywhere. Powdered sugar. So we've got those topping options. And there's so many other things. You could have, do Nutella. You could have, um, I used to work at a restaurant, the Rainforest Cafe, RIP West Farm Small. Um, and they had a dessert that was two crepes that cold. And then you they put it, vanilla ice cream in the center and rolled them up. It was like Bananas Foster's crepes. So you just put vanilla ice cream, rolled up the crepes, they prep them and put them in the fr freezer. And then they would just make a, like a Bananas Foster sauce and put it on top with like whipped cream and chocolate sauce. So that's a good one. Um, you can do savory crepes. My nephew just likes to have a cold crepe um, with ham and cheese and they kind of like make little crepe wraps for their lunch because as you'll note, there's no sugar in this batter. Um, so that's um, one thing to note. So there's, um, there's no sugar, but they're nice and eggy. If you haven't had a crepe before and this is your first time, we're gonna do this together. Ooh, dulce, dulce de leche, that's another yummy it's crepe yeah. topping. It's kind of like a caramelly, salty, um, like sauce you could you could honestly put almost anything in the crepe you could saute spinach and mushrooms and make a savory crepe you could kind of do do everything um sprinkles Valerie says sprinkles of course you could always um you know gussy it up with some sprinkles um so what we're gonna do i think everyone's here is everyone ready to cook um and the great thing is is that we're just gonna make them on the stove top so what's gonna happen is we're gonna make the batter here then i'm just gonna turn around and bring my camera and, and set it up um on the stove so you'll be actually um getting to see me cook live see if i can do it um and that's great oh that's great all right so i guess we're just gonna start Valerie, as everyone's ready to go, and I will talk, remind, re remind myself to talk slow. Um, how many eggs? You're gonna have two eggs. Two eggs, half a cup of water, half a cup of milk, and um, two tablespoons, as I remind myself, two tablespoons of melted butter. Now, I don't know if you guys have these little um, ramekins. I got these for my wedding. I got like 24 of them almost 14 years ago. And I use them for everything. They're these little like Pyrex dishes. And it also is very like cooking showy because you can prep your ingredients. So they came in handy, I didn't realize. And so now I have all my, my wet ingredients. So what Valerie's gonna do, she's gonna do our wets. And so you can just carefully pour. And so I've already portioned out my half a cup of water. And so we also have a whisk. So we're just gonna whisk things up. So Valerie, you're just gonna start. You can pour in the water and the milk. Yeah. So you're gonna have one bowl for wet, one bowl for, um, for dries. Milk, water. Yeah. And so here, and now you're just going to um, crack two eggs into there and then start you're whisking it. The you can put the shell right in the ramekin. So we'll use that as a little garbage can. So if you're working alone, or you have some assistance with you, you can prep the dries. Yes. Okay, so now you're just gonna take your whisk and you're just gonna start gently whisking it up. Yes. Yep, so you're gonna just break it up and then she's just gonna start whisking. So while Valerie's doing that, so we have half a cup of milk, half a cup of water, two eggs, mixing up, this is our wet batter. And so now all we need, since we're just making one batch and I didn't want to have like 25 crepes because I don't need that in my life right now. Um, so I've got my one cup of flour. Oops, calories. Um, yep, that's good. And so I'm just going to do one level cup and put it into, um, 
into my mixing bowl and then I can set this aside because I don't need any more flour at this point. Um, everyone doing well? And then it's just a quarter of a teaspoon of, of salt. Okay. That I was eyeballing, yes. You can trust me, you can trust me that I can eyeball a quarter of a teaspoon of salt. Okay, so we've got our wets and our dries. One cup of flour and a little bit of salt. I'm just kind of shaking it around a little bit just to mix it up. Um, so what we're gonna do now is, do you wanna do the mixing here? Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna pour our wets into our dries. So you're gonna pick up this bowl and you can just start drizzling. Yep, can you guys see? Go right ahead. So, wow, the silence is deafening in this house right now, which is actually, I'm surprised. Oops, I don't know. That's, you won't. So now you're just gonna, go ahead, you're just gonna whisk it up. Whisk, whisk, whisk. Now, you know what, I've reserved the butter. I'm gonna put that in at the end. Um, you could honestly add it at any step. I just kind of like it like this. Um, is it mirror image? Oh, or is it? <laughs> What does that mean, Barbara? Mirror image, yeah. Um. <laughs> so we're gonna whisk, whisk, whisk. Now you definitely want to whisk out most of the lumps and it should happen um, pretty easily. If your kids are doing it great, moms, dads, you can step in and give it a little muscle. Yep, you're gonna do it like this. So we've got, we haven't added our butter yet, but if you did, just keep going, that's, that's perfect. So we've got this sort of like super thin batter and I'm going to add, Valerie, do you wanna pour, sorry, I'm doing all the cool jobs. Yeah. So you're gonna pour in your butter. There we go. It looks so weird. Looks so weird. And so now she's gonna stir it up. And you can, um, I kind of like it to add uh, last two because it's warm a little bit and so it sort of helps to like not melt everything because there's no sugar, but it helps it to like thin it out, to thin it out. All right, so it's let so me just, it is so thin. But the thing is with crepes, you need a thin batter. It's almost like you need to find the right consistency of, of, of thickness. So, yep. So we've got that. Yes. So this is literally it. This is your crepe batter. So I feel like is everyone, yep, it is yummy. Um, truthfully, you could add a little vanilla extract at this point. You don't need to if you're gonna do sweet crepes. You honestly don't need to. Um, but if you want to get like chefy or kind of make it your own, you can add like, you know, flavorings or whatever. So this is our crepe base. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just take a second and do a little, well, actually, I'm, I'll keep this here. Do a little reorganization because I want to, I want to show you a couple of things depending on what your setup is. Um, I've got a quarter of a cup measuring cup, which is what I'm going to use for each one. It's gonna be a quarter of a cup of batter in each crepe. But I would also like you to start, actually maybe I'm gonna do this now because I don't want, what's that? Oh, Valerie wants to show you guys something. Go ahead, Valerie. This too. Oh, sorry, I've got my phone charging. All right, so I'm moving you guys. We're gonna take a little field trip over to this side. And I wanna see, go down a little bit so you can see. Maybe we'll go this way. All right, I hope that looks good to you guys, but I have the camera sort of on an angle so that you can see my pan. So, I don't know if the light helps or deters. I don't know if it does or doesn't. So I'm gonna turn my nonstick pan on. Valerie's got her. So if you are using a stainless steel pan, that's fine too. You're gonna turn it on and you're gonna preheat it um, just the same. You wanna kind of preheat it over like medium high. Um, Hi. Um, you want to preheat it over medium high. And you're going to just, I'm, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to bring my batter. So I've got my batter. This is literally what I do when I'm making these on a Sunday morning. I've got my batter right next to my, my griddle. I've got my nonstick. My nonstick. So also tip, tip, tip. Please, please, if you have not, if you have nonstick cookware, don't use metal on your nonstick cookware. You can use wood or you can use plastic because you don't want to scrape your bottom. And mine sort of is a little bit dinged up from, um, can you use strawberries and chocolate chips? Yes, but at the end, um, Shauna, you're going to decorate at the end with all those things. So don't put anything in the batter. Ooh, hi, Gonzalez's. Hi, Ashley. Hi, Valerie's, Ashley. Valerie's excited. Her classmates here. 
Um, so this is also one I'm, I'm gonna do. I don't have one of those little crepier, those little wooden things that helps like um, spread the batter out, and that's fine. Um, so what I'm gonna do sometimes, depending on how it's going. Is it the What's up? Yep, so we have, a, we have a bunch of different spatulas. So my pan, maybe you guys just wanna watch, Valerie, that's enough with the clatter, because I wanna, um, I'm gonna just make one first, and then I'll show you guys. So the first one, it's like the first pancake. It's always sort of, just kind of like a, it's just kind of a wait and see. You just kind of wanna like figure it out. So I have this, if you guys, I have a bigger pan, I'm gonna take this and I'm literally just, turning it around. Now, it gets very thin. once my pan gets hot, so it gets like super thin. I said that. Valerie said that, and now. So I'm just going to leave it there. It's in, you know what, honestly, this is why I have my spatula, because sometimes if it's a little thick in the center, you, you, just, you just spread it out. I hope this is translating to you guys at home. Do you think it is, Perky? Nice. All right, so what I also have, so that's gonna go, that's cooking just for literally like 30 seconds or not. And honestly, you're gonna have to like watch your own. So, ooh. So, but you're gonna see because it's, um, it's like easy to just pick up and it's sort of paper thin. And then you're gonna flip it over and you're gonna notice. It's not brown. It's not brown, but the, what happens is that the, up, the other side, the side that we just flipped, is the side that gets brown. So that's the side that will be the on the outside. That's gonna be the side that you will, when you fold them, you know. What do I do if my batter seems too thick? I would add a little more liquid, Sherry. But mine, I mean, oh yeah, mine's pretty thin. So if your batter is not that thin, I would thin it out with either a little more milk or water. So like I said, the first crepe, oh, that's, that's doing good. Um, the first crepe, doesn't usually get as brown as you want you deliver. Hi, Uncle Kent. I miss Bye. you. So what you're doing in your pan, and, I'm, and it's, a, it's very hot, so adults like take over now. You're just gonna, I just put it down on the side, and now I'm just gonna sort of get in a roll of making these. So it's literally like this, and my fingertips aren't really, they have a little bit, as we, I think I said this last week. So then I'm just gonna keep making more because I have the batter. And I have my pan like nice and hot. So say you don't want to touch a side of your pan, I'm just gonna use my spatula and spread it out like this, which actually is a little bit, this is actually a little more therapeutic. What does that mean? Therapeutic, it just means like relaxing. It's like, what do the kids say, like satisfying? Because you spread it all out and then you get really kind of like, uh, get a feel for the, thic the thickness. So then this is like this pretty, this goes pretty quick. As once you have like your, your first one down, actually maybe I'll turn it like this because I want you guys to see. I don't know what's better if I get up closer or I don't like burn my hair off. Um, so now that's just cooking away. And now, but then I'm gonna use my nonstick to just peek under and then I'm gonna flip it. And so now you're not, it's not gonna be brown. Well, it sort of, it might be a little bit golden like on, the, on that first flip. I'll turn that off. That might be better to see. It looks a little light in the background. Let me see if this helps. I can never tell with the lighting. Oh, it's that light, Mom. Is it that light? Oh, you want to turn that one off? I just want it. So we're not a professional setup here, obviously, as far as lighting. So I never know what is too much light and not enough light. Okay, perfect. So look at this one. This one just came out. Oh, wait, you can't see it. Um, maybe it's this light. And then you just start putting them on your sheet. I'm just, is that better with the light? No. Oh my gosh, I can't Wait, figure. I think it's this light. We're running around the house trying to get the, the, the light better so that you guys can see. And now it's like super dark in the kitchen. All right, so I'm just going to keep going. And you just start, you just keep making crepe after crepe. No, that doesn't help either. This is like a comedy routine. Yeah, it's not that light. It's not that light. So, but the thing is, the faster that you, not faster, but you're just gonna get to get a, to know a flow for your. Their kitchen dark now. The kitchen is sort of dark, Valerie. I don't think we need it this dark. Oh, is that? Because now light? I've got a, light, a yellow light on. Okay. Oh, we're gonna turn the yellow light off. I know, but I want you to turn some, open up some of those shades. Fine. Oh my goodness! All right, so we've got our crepes. It's really just gonna keep going, and it's like a sort of a well-oiled machine once you get in a little bit of a rhythm. But once you, you can sort of keep it to like that medium, medium high after you have your first, your first kind of go at it. Oh, I wonder if you can see 
that. All right, so see, like there's little like golden brown. Oh, Valerie, actually, you can you can close that one. And then you just fold it in half, and then in half again, and then you put it down on a like on your tray, on your plate, or wherever. And you you can get the the um. Oh, see now without now they're cranking away. Is the lighting better? The lighting looks perfect. All right, so adults, please be helping your children for assistance and I'm just gonna start Valerie that's perfect the lighting is actually amazing you, we don't have to we don't have to touch it again that's great okay. and I want to see if there's questions this led the light is fine how big is the measuring scoop um, it is one quarter of a cup sorry I'm like looking at an angle to make sure I get all of your questions why are you, why are you folding them I'm folding them because I just kind of like to um, the way um, I just what you're going to put in them, you can you can leave them in a stack, or you can just fold them. You can just leave them. Ooh, that, was a good one. that was a really we're good one. Yeah, we're going to eat these. Who did you think was going to eat them? Yeah. Why are you folding them? So, all right. So back to that question. How long on each side? It's Lily. It's like less than a minute. It's less than a minute. So, how many crepes does the batter make? This one we've already got four. I'm saying it makes about eight one quarter cup. Um, oh, see, so now can you see that? Oops, that's like, you're gonna, oops, hold on. So you can either leave them out flat like that, or you can um, fold them depending on if you're gonna, oops, I gotta get my, my batter here. So, one quarter of a cup down in your hot pan. Oh, sizzling. It is sizzling. So I'm gonna use my spatula to prove that you don't need a fancy, uh, any fancy, equipment even though it would be cute if you had one of those little wooden long little crepe things i, I guess i should have looked up what that was before i uh i don't know what you're talking about but i can look up all know. right so you're gonna thin it out and i hope it's going well in your kitchens and you're and you're focusing on that and what's going on we don't need to fold them because we just keep eating them yep that's true your crepes are sticking any advice Ooh. so if your crepes are sticking i would say depending on if you have a nonstick or a stainless steel pan. The pan may either need to be hotter. My first pan didn't work, so we switched to a small egg pan and they are perfect. Oh, yay! Um, so I'm gonna flip it over. Maybe I, will, maybe I will show you. I'm gonna switch now for the last couple if you don't have, um, if you do not have a nonstick pan. Hi, Carissa Curtis! Miss you, Callie in the house again. Woo! Love your workouts. Haven't joined one yet though, if you can't tell. <laughs> All right, so I, I do feel badly if your crepes are sticking, any advice? So I, I'm just curious if you're, if you're, if you're, all right, so see like this, I am like so, I wanna, I don't know, like what's the way to get the best angle to you? I'm like super happy with that, so I'm gonna leave that flat. But I guess what I was trying to say, so if you're gonna spread Nutella on the middle of these, Spread it on the ugly side, the side that isn't like golden brown, so that if you were to fold them or like roll them up like a little banana, when you, then you would see that attractive, like, the, like these nice little like golden ridges on the outside. Perfect angle, oh good, thank you. Okay, I'm gonna keep going because I've got more crepes. Honestly, I've never really made this these crepes because my daughter is who inspired me to do them and yes. she had some like kids cooking books she took out at her school library and I said, well, I don't know. I think that's really hard to do. I mean, this was just a few weeks ago. And then the um, recipe only needed like five ingredients. Right, and then because the recipe uses such few ingredients, I thought, wow, you know. That's a big one. And in our area, you know, there's not too many places where you can go and like buy crepes. There was this wonderful little shop. I don't want to bring it up um, in, this, in West Hartford Center, but a little French bakery. So now it's just kind of like, whoo, you can see. No, it's okay. It's not gonna break. We're gonna. Oh, geez. Oh, I told you it broke. Valerie, it's okay. I don't see. I've got my own judge and critic right here, right next to me. Well, you know what? I was talking. I'll blame it on that. Valerie, stop that. She said it was the biggest one. Well, you know what? It's still gonna taste like a really good crepe. I just wanna make sure that it's cooked in, cooked in through on the other side. And obviously, as in life, mistakes happen, and that's not why we shouldn't ruin our day or start crying, right, Valerie? I'm not crying. So if your crepe comes out a little bit or you dropped it like I did, you know, move on. 
You can't let things like that linger. There's enough going on in the world, as we all know. Right? So I hope, I wish I, I could see you guys cooking because um, then I could see what was going on in your kitchens. But I'm assuming if I make the crepes now, can I store them tonight? Yep. Um, we do that all the time. We just kind of, once they cool, we'll like put them in a stack and we put them in the fridge and we reheat. <gasps> I've seen that awesome um, crepe cake. It has like 20 layers of crepes. And then there's like a thin layer of ganache in the center. And I don't know if I have the patience for that, but I, th I think I might. And so then you stack crepes, like 20 up with a layer of ganache in the middle, and then you cover it with ganache. I don't know, Google it. Um, because that just looks like the most cool. And it's, once you start tasting these, if you haven't yet, um, crepe cake, that sounds like a project. It does. Um, also, I don't know if anyone's joining us. I put a modification in the recipe to make blintzes um, because as many of you know, Passover, oh wait, there's the angle. There we go, I can't get it right. So now things are going swimmingly, but if you, um, I had put a modification. So this is actually my last, so that's the eighth. I'm gonna have a little teeny, teeny crepe um, to make blintzes. So if you, do not, if you wanted to make these, for Passover and make blintzes, the modification is you add, excuse me, you add some potato starch and it's like an extra egg, but I put it in the event um, if you wanted to make blintzes, which are also delicious and you can fill with all sorts of delicious things. And it's sort of the same technique. And see, as it's this is almost like painting now because I'm just trying to spread it out enough so that, whoop, I don't wanna be blocking you guys. Crepe cake. Oh, thanks, Sherry. Perfect. How do I save a crepe for my dad? Oh, Ashley, you're so cute. Make it more later. Um, what you're gonna do is you can just let it cool and, and fold it and put it in the fridge. No, um, Aileen, I have not tried to, uh, I ha their question was, have you tried to replace the regular flour for almond flour? And I haven't, but I definitely, that's gonna be on my list now. That sounds, um, it sounds like it should work. And so if you have time and extra almond flour to experiment, I would totally do that. And I kind of, I'm going to do that too. So Valerie, how's it going? Good. Crepe cake. I hope everyone's getting ready. I know this year it's, it's a little bit different when you're thinking about gathering for Passover and Easter and, and see, this is my last one. And look, it's like, it's stunning. It's gorgeous. And so I'm going to leave that there and I'm going to turn my oven off. I'm going to move back to my first, location which is on my counter and I'm not I'm not rushing at anyone oh there's some light um ooh. I'm not rushing anyone if you're still up at the at your at your sink and now what I want to do oh wait can you turn that light back on for me so I'm going to bring my crepes over uh, this one ooh. how's that all right, so I have uh, my crepes on this tray. Ooh. It's nice out. It is really nice out. So we're going to wrap up here soon so everyone can enjoy their day. Um, oh, good question. Shauna Waxman asked a great question. What are we going to make next week? So I really hope you'll join us. We are going to make matzo ball soup because it's during Passover. And I have some really quick tips um, that I think that you guys will be really interested to know. And um, there's last year, so there's many times that I do teach cooking classes at the JCC. And for like summer camps, we made a huge batch of matzo ball soup. And it's just, if you're not Jewish, it doesn't matter. Matzo ball soup is the most warming, comforting, soothing soup, um, I think pretty much that's out there. And so if you've never made matzo balls or matzo ball soup together, you should really join us. All I need you to get this week at the store, that's sort of out of the ordinary, is a box of, oh wait, I'll grab one in the cabinet. Yes. A box of, I have, you can get, I have a couple options. Now, it's pretty much contested about which brand is better. I, I'm not sponsored by these people, by Shrikes, but I happen to have in my cabinet this matzo ball mix. I also have the matzo ball and the ball and soup mix, which you could, which has the, like the chicken bouillon packet. Um, 
But if you happen to be out at the store in the next week and you just grab a box of matzo balls, um, it's an egg and some canola oil and then um, to actually mix together to make the matzo balls. And then if you have chicken stock or vegetable stock, and then we're gonna saute up some celery, carrots, onions with some fresh herbs, but I'll post that recipe um, tomorrow. Um, Maggie and I just made a really big mess. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I wish I could come over there and clean it up. I hope that's the Schwabs that I know. Hi, everybody. Um, so anyway, so the matzo ball soup, back to that perfect comfort food. Uh, Valerie's gonna show you how she makes, she decorates a crepe, and I'm gonna show you what I do. I want that one. Okay, so she wants the perfect one. Yep, I wouldn't think of giving you any other. So, she, so, so you're gonna put the filling on this side. So like I was saying before, the pretty side, which is the one that has these like nice little like things, and that's sort of like the not pretty side. So you're gonna put whatever filling you're gonna put. So the, I'm gonna do cinnamon sugar and just like sprinkle it like this. And obviously you can do it whatever way you want. And since the crepes are still warm, this is like the biggest crepey cinnamon toasty thing I've ever, ever seen. So what I do is that I just fold it like this, like a little... Did you use this one? Yeah, go right ahead. Ooh, Valerie getting cra uh, crazy with some cinnamon sugar and powdered sugar. And then I just serve it like this because then if I was plating them, I kind of artfully place them and then, you know, serve them. Maple syrup. Maple syrup. Oh, she's really going crazy. I like it. Maple syrup. My kids go through it so much. It's like all they want is more and more syrup. And it's really hard to oh, this time. Dance. If we run out... I'm not getting any, so we're just trying to ration in a safe, in a non-stressful way. It looks like oil in the It water. does look like oil. So Valerie has made this beautiful, so if you, you could do other things. Um, if you wanted to slice up your strawberries, put them on the side. Oh, Valerie. Oh, Valerie. Um, this is so fun, Carissa. Yes. Um, perfect comfort food. Got right back to the matzo ball soup. Hi, you popped in late, Donna. Don't worry, I'm gonna post this recipe for sure. Yes, use Nutella. If you don't have a nut allergy, please do. Usually what I do with the Nutella, since sometimes it um, gets hard, I'll put, um, put some in a little cup and I'll microwave it for like 10, 15 seconds until it gets drizzly. Um, oh, hi, Dr. Diane. Hi, girls. I'm so glad that you love them. I hope, if this is your first time making crepes, I just opened up a whole new world of breakfast and brunchy things to make. Ooh, my mom's drizzling them with honey. Oh, thanks, Donna. She just said we're amazing. So are you. I'm so glad you're here. Um, this really is my one of my most favorite times of the week. Um, go ahead, start keep eating. That looks delicious. So we just made really quick crepes. Valerie's sampling. Good. She did good. She feels good because she made it herself also. Um, this is just one of my favorite times of the week to spend some time chatting, talking food, building a community during this time when we physically can't be near each other, but we can through technology. And so um, I want to, uh, I, I really want to keep chatting, but I know that everyone has their, their lives to get back to, but thank you for spending this time with me and Valerie. And as you can tell, she's, she's hopping off camera because she has too much in her mouth, but that's fine too. You should love what you eat and eat what you love. And it doesn't matter if it gets all over your face because that shows that it makes you happy and so during this time we'll take the comfort we'll take anything that we can do, that we can do to sort of make ourselves and our family feel a little bit safer and more secure so I want to wish you a happy Easter a happy Passover a happy everything and I really really hope you'll join us next week when we make matzo ball soup please if you haven't made this before I hope that you'll watch and if you're, if you're not if you don't want to cook along with us just come and watch because um, it's also fun you never know what you'll learn just by watching others doing something and it might inspire you to give it a try um i'm so happy to see you colby and pam and the and the daytons and laura um so thanks so much for watching along um the jcc will post this onto their facebook page i'll post it on mine if you're not following me on instagram you can follow me at lindsay culinary where i post daily and um you know sort of whatever i'm whipping up in the kitchen and on facebook lindsay culinary uncle kent i am so happy to see you i need to call you um sherry i'm so happy to spend this time with my friends and family have a great day get out and get 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 for a walk it's and fun. uh Hope the online school is going great and know that you have a support system and we are all in this together and you're not alone. So I'm going to sign off. All right, Carissa. Bye, Curtises. Bye, Gonzaleses. Thank you so much. Thanks again to the JCC. You're the best. Love you guys. Have a great day. Bye. Bye. I'm making bon appetit.